Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online through print-on-demand platforms like Redbubble, Society6, and a few other platforms that we discuss on this channel. And in today's video, we're actually talking about the best free digital art software that you can be using for your Redbubble uh, creation of designs or for other print-on-demand platforms. These are programs that are 100% free and that I actually use myself. So we wanted to discuss this a little bit further for you guys so that you had some alternatives as far as the programs that you're using for your digital art. A lot of you guys might be using Adobe and paying for a subscription, or you might have other paid programs, but there are a lot of other choices that could complement some of the programs that you might be using now so that you can create other digital art and have different types of brushes and other tools available to you and they're hundred percent free so let's look at some of the programs that I've been using and uh, get into it so we're gonna take a look at five free digital art programs that you can download for hundred percent free off the internet for various platforms so that means that the programs that we picked for this list will work with various platforms like Linux Mac OS and PC or all three in some cases. So if you have a certain type of computer that you want to install software on, or maybe an older computer that you wanted to make use of, but you didn't want to pay for software, then it's a good idea to try some of these programs. A lot of them don't require a lot of uh, fast processing power. They actually work on older computers perfectly fine. I have a couple of these programs running on an old desktop with Linux, and they work fantastic right out of the box. I haven't had any issues. So I'm going to show you a couple of the programs and you guys, uh, if you are looking for free software, the, so these are some of the best free programs that you can use for your digital art creation and that will help you grow your print on demand business by having more tools to create designs. So the first program we're going to talk about is Krita. Krita is an open source uh, painting and sketching program designed for digital artists. It's perfect for anybody doing print on demand because it has a ton of options of things that you can do in this program. Now, if you're getting started with print on demand and you're looking for a program that's easy to learn, Krita might not be the easiest program to learn, but there are certainly a lot of tutorials and right on their website, you'll find user manuals and a lot of documentation that'll help you get started with Krita. Now, if you purchase Krita through the Windows Store or another platform, you'll get automatic updates to the program whenever a new patch comes out. This is something that might be critical for some but not for others. So you want to see how much that update is going to cost and if it's worth paying for the program within an app store. And uh, what you are doing if you do pay for the program is you're supporting uh, the community of programmers that are putting this program together. So that's a good thing. But if you want to use it 100% free, you certainly can do that. There is a link to download it to the various platforms right on their website and you don't have to pay for anything. So if you want to learn this program in detail, I would suggest downloading it, going through all the documentation on the website. As with any of the programs that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, I would suggest that you look up a YouTube video on tutorials for these particular programs and really learn what is available uh, as far as the functionality of the program and what you can do with it. So in addition to all the paid programs that you might already have, these kind of programs really do have a benefit uh, for budding artists who want to create work for print on demand. So Krita is definitely worth considering downloading. Another program that I've been playing with is Art Weaver. Now this program is actually available as a paid program or as a free program. Now there is limitations on the free version of the program so you might have to upgrade at some point but if you're in the process of learning how to use digital art software this would be a good start because there is a paid upgrade version so if you decide that you want some of the extra features at some point you can upgrade to the paid version and in the meantime learn this program with the free version and create things that uh, you might be able to uh, use for your print on demand business or for other design work that you're working on so it's definitely um, a fun program to play with and try out and we've added it to the list of digital art programs that are free because it also is a supportive program that has a lot of documentation and tutorials that you can learn how to do different things with this program. So Art Weaver, another program on our free list that we recommend that you guys try out. So we couldn't make a video about free digital art programs without mentioning the GIMP. Now we've talked about the GIMP in previous videos and it is one of our favorite programs to create digital content with no cost. 
it's available for all the platforms. It's been around for a while. It's supported by a huge community. There's a lot of tutorials. There's nothing bad that we could say about the GIMP. It's a great program for what it is. And at the cost of being free, it's definitely on the radar for most people who are getting started in digital art because this is a full featured program that you can use right out of the box and have uh, the comparison sort of like Photoshop. So we have talked about the GIMP and we know that you guys uh, who have downloaded are very impressed by the things that you can do with this program. And that's why we added it to this list of free digital art programs. There might be some of you who haven't had a chance to take a look at the GIMP, but if you're looking for a full featured program that's free, certainly take a look at the GIMP. So a while back we did a video about Paint 3D. Paint 3D is very underrated. It's actually a program that comes free with every copy of Windows. So if you have Windows installed on your computer, you have Paint 3D already on the system. So if you haven't tried it out, Paint 3D is very simple to get into and you can actually do a lot of stuff with Paint 3D. We dedicated a whole video on this channel to Paint 3D and how I made money using only Paint 3D to upload to print on demand websites. There's a lot of functionality. It's not the most full featured program that you can be using for digital art, but if you have a copy of Windows and don't have anything else installed or just want to play around with digital art, this is the program that can get you started. It's included in your operating system, so you might as well try it. Paint 3D is definitely worth checking out if you have a Windows computer and it's free. So our last piece of software is called MyPaint. MyPaint was actually a program that came about from a creator not being able to do certain things with his Wacom tablet. So he decided to come up with his own uh, program that would interact better with the uh, tablet. And that created MyPaint. So MyPaint is free. It's been around for a long time. There's also a lot of support for MyPaint. And if you are using a Wacom tablet, it might be one of the better programs to get support for that device or for those devices. And I just wanted to say that I do appreciate all the uh, creators of these programs because without them, a lot of us wouldn't be able to afford certain tools or wouldn't have access to professional level programs uh, on a budget. So these give us the tools we need to create uh, the designs for our print on demand business without spending money up front. And I always believe that if you have used these programs and if you're getting some benefit out of them, if they ask for support, if there's a way to donate money to the creators of the program, that you should support them and give back to the community. And if you guys are serious about growing your print on demand business, I hope that you can consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when the next video goes up. And by hitting that like button, you also help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We're constantly updating the channel with new content, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep uploading, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.